welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I am so excited to share a collective haul with you guys today. But first of all, if you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's completely free to do. It just makes you part of this YouTube family. And then if you hit the bell button, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video, which is really I try to stick to Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That Tuesday video though, sometimes it just depends on the weekend and the beginning of my week. But um, I try Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So, uh, but you'll be notified whenever I do upload if you hit that bell button. Don't forget the like button because then you tell YouTube that you're enjoying my content and leave a comment down below because I mean, that's just really nice to do. I love it. I don't always reply, but I do always read them. I promise. I always look at them. All right. Today I have a, uh, no, not Dollar Tree. I have a collective haul. Um, I am really excited. It's the start of buying a lot of fun. I forgot something, I think. So I'll have to push pause and go get it. But it's the start of picking up all the really fun Christmas stuff that's coming out everywhere. I saw a reel the other day and it just made me laugh and laugh. And it said something about be mature. You know that you don't need any more Christmas stuff. And it's like if someone's pulling out all like her tubs of Christmas stuff and then it flashes to her trunk and her grabbing bags and said, just kidding, I'm immature. Also immature. I have a hard time not buying new fun stuff. I love Christmas. Like I love Christmas. I'm really excited. I know that I still have Halloween up by next week, by my next video on Tuesday. Hopefully it'll all be down. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I have TJ Maxx, Home Goods. I went to the Home Goods side, Target, Five Below, and one thing from Hobby Lobby. No, I lie. Home Depot. Starts with an H. So this was at Home Depot. We ran there for some sort of tool of something that my husband wanted and I fell in love. It says, Dear Santa, I can explain. It is a like postcard little thing or mat and it's 18 by 30. Was it Home Depot or Lowe's? I think it was Home Depot. I believe that's a Home Depot tag. Home Depot. So we went to both. Lowe's didn't have what we were looking for. We went to Home Depot and then I found that. So super cute. I think it was around $10. I can't remember. My husband bought it for me. All right. So there's that. That one was really fun to pick up. Um, next, let me share with you Home Goods. We'll go with Home Goods. Um, I'll show you the bag once I get it empty because I want to be careful with everything that's in it. All right. So I. I'm not a Santa person like my home decor my Christmas decor isn't centered around Santa I know like Mari from everything Mari she loves Santa like that is her jam that is who she like her her and, and I love it um and I know right now Jay from Frugal Jay is picking up like vintagey Christmas stuff which includes Santas and stuff when I saw this guy uh, he just he spoke to me and I he said Amber I need to come to your house for Christmas and I said, Santa, you got it because he's so cute. So he's going to go in my kitchen because my kitchen is a gingerbread like bakery kind of look. And he's like baking the cookies. He's like Santa doing the baking with his beautiful white curly beard, holding the gingerbread cookie, holding the little white cookie. He was $19.99 at Home Goods, but he's right around that same price at like um, Dollar General too, I think, because I was watching Dollar General walkthroughs today because I need to go to Dollar General. Like there, I have a list for there, but I haven't made it yet. But he is so cute, isn't he? I fell in love with the Santa. So I found him, had to have him. He's just, he's just darling. So we'll put him right there. He's going to watch me do the rest of this haul. Um, if you're not new here, my husband, you already know, if you are new here, my husband loves Nutcrackers. We, we have a big, we have a big collection of nutcrackers. It's a big part of our Christmas now. And so when we were at TJ Maxx, you know, they're putting out all their new stuff. And so he did pick up some new, um, or home goods. Why do I keep saying TJ Maxx? I know better. Some new nutcrackers. This is by Jingles and Joy. It was $12.99. He doesn't have a lot of girl nutcrackers, which is why he was like, you know what? Like she is gorgeous. I don't have a lot of girls. And she has the branded home goods bag, which is so freaking cute. It's like a little wooden bag and it's got like her little presents and a candy cane in it. And she's holding that little present. She's got her scarf, her curly hair, her cute little skirt. So we did scoop her up because she's freaking adorable. So she was $12.99. He tried to say he's not getting any new um, nutcrackers this year. 
because he picks up it's not like we get one a year because that would make sense you know you get one a year and it adds to your collection no this is just the start of the um added for this year then there's this guy who is so fun and unique we don't have anyone like this this one's by slay hill which is also what santa is by it was 12.99 and it's like a little toy maker. He's got his little paintbrush because he's painting Pinocchio who moves like a puppet. His legs don't, but his arms do. Oh my gosh, isn't he so cute? So he was also, and he's got a little block right here. Um, also $12.99 and in love, in love with that one. And then lastly for the Nutcrackers, and then I only have one other thing from here, um, is the Rat King from, I think he's the Rat King, is that his name? From the nut, From the actual musical. This one is by Sincerely Santa, Genuinely Jolly. He was also $12.99, but super cool. Like he's from the ballet or the play. And so got him too, also because he's just a unique nutcracker. So my husband's rules to buy a nutcracker, which is not my rules, but it has to be a funk. Like you have to have the stick and the thing has to like work. Otherwise he doesn't call it a real nutcracker. Cause I really like like the nutcracker statues that are sparkly and pretty and he struggles with those because they don't follow the nutcracker rule all right one last thing from home goods it's a mug it's a, i'm gonna just tell it's a mug i love mugs i love mugs and i'm gonna wash this one up and i'm gonna start using it because i'm putting away my halloween ones that i've been using um it's a ray dawn mug i love the ray dawn mugs because i'm not like i've never been a big ray dawn collector but they're the perfect size for my coffee and they're the perfect like like to hold them my favorite mug ever it's um from one of my subscribers um so, i was gonna say leslie celeste that's like completely different names i don't even know leslie celeste sent me one and it says um i'm you're on my to-do list and it's red and it's one of my favorites i actually used it at this morning for my coffee but um and that she sent me that and I'm like oh my gosh this is like the perfect mug and so I've been collecting a little bit more since then but it says candy cane lane the handle the handle guys it's what got me it was $6.99 most of their mugs I think are $4.99 or $5.99 I'm sure because it's a little bit special there was actually several that I liked but I limited it to one because of the handle and then this bag look at this bag guys so it's got like the bows. It's almost like a candy cane bow bag. It says TJ Maxx on the side. That's probably why I keep saying TJ Maxx. It even, it was 99 cents. Their bags are way better priced than Dollar Tree's. I mean by a quarter, but. And it has this cute little tag that you can use. So I love to gift in reusable bags like this, especially now because in Colorado, they don't do plastic bags anymore. So I love to gift in reusable bags. I try to do it as much as I can instead of a gift bag, especially for anybody just a little bit older like in their teens and older because it'll be more beneficial it's not saying i don't buy gift bags but reusable bags are a great way to go so that one was really cute too all right moving on let's go to five below let's head on to five below i didn't get a ton i just got a few things um and it's kind of a start of christmas shopping so i got this oh i do have something else where is it hold on real fast pause Okay, sorry. I knew that there was one thing from Target I forgot over my front room. And then I know that I had two things from Costco, but I can only find one. I can't remember what the other one is. All right, so, well, jog my memory. So I started doing some Christmas shopping. My best friend's daughter, Layla, she just turned 13. She's already a teenager, it's crazy. Um, and she's redoing her room, like as a girly room. And um, so I wanted to get her for Christmas. I'm gonna get her some stuff to decorate her new room. And she loves Hello Kitty. So I got this. It is just a cute little wall light up decor. And it's vibrant pink and white lights. It just takes two AA batteries. And so I'm going to do like a whole little gift for her. But um, I found this at Five Below. It was $5.55. So that is a start. Starting to start my Christmas shopping. Um, I know, you know, I'm doing December boxes for all my nieces and nephews. I'll probably just do like a little stocking of stuff and like send it to them for actual Christmas. But for my best friend, I wish I could open these for you and show you, but I just can't because they're for my best friend. She loves friends. I know that you've heard that before from me because I've bought friend stuff for her in the past. And they have the Itty Bops 
friends. Bitty Pop. Bitty Pop. Funko Bitty Pop. <laughs> and I picked up three of them. I really wish you could tell what you have because I would love to pick her up a set if I could. But this is what they look like. There's a whole bunch. So I grabbed three. I do believe these were $5 each. And so that'll add up fast. Bitty. Oh, $3.25. They're $3.25. When I go back, if they still have them, I might pick her up a couple more. But I gotta space it because, you know, you get paid weekly and I can only spend so much. So, excuse me, sorry, I got the hiccups. Um, so I got her three of those because I think she will love them. So I'm gonna do like a little fun friends thing for her. For me, I wanna do, when I decorate for Christmas, and I gotta figure out where and how I'm gonna do it, but I wanna do a little elf, like the movie Elf. Elf is probably my favorite Christmas movie. And I love like all the themed elf items. So I want to do like a little spot where I decorate for elf. And so I got this mug to potentially kind of be part of that. I'll also drink out of it. Like I'm no shame in my game. I love, I love um, mugs, but it says elf on one side and then it has this little thing. So if I don't find a good way to use it as decor, I'll use it just for for a seasonal mug. I do have a lot of um, Christmas mugs though because Christmas and mugs are two of my favorite things. So let's see. Elf mug was $5.55. I think everything else is $5. That's in my list, in my bag. Um, I did pick up this Doritos ornament. It was $5. I got this one for Eric. A while back I picked one up for Braxton. My brain cannot remember what it is. Ever since I picked this one up I've been trying but um and I got it at Walmart with my husband. We were shopping and we thought that would be funny and we got it for him but I got this one for Eric because he loves loves Cool Ranch Doritos. Like if you say what do you want for a snack it's Cool Ranch Doritos. So um I thought that that would be a fun one to give him. I do a yearly ornament every year for them. I don't know if these are going to be like their yearly ornaments or if these are just going to be more of like a for fun ornament. But in all honesty, I could put like the year with the cricket on it and they would work. So the only one I don't have yet is for Lorelai. And then for me, I got this Barbie Funko mini. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's the Crystal Barbie. And they had all these ones. My favorite favorite is the hair one because I just love the hair one. But not necessarily a metallic. I don't know. A Crystal Barbie, but I don't know if this is Crystal Barbie. I don't know how you know if it's metallic. It doesn't say metallic, so I'm going to assume not. But I wanted the hair one. That's what I wanted. But I just got this one. Because I'm going to do a whole like Barbie section when I do my um, basement. It was already open like this because the glue just popped. I'm not really worried about it. When, next time I pull out my hot glue gun, I can just glue it back down because that's what it looks like it was glued with to begin with. And lastly, <clears throat> I always get the kids calendars for Christmas. It's just one of the things they actually hang them up in their room. They look at them. Um, you know, two of my kiddos um, have, we have split custody. And so they do actually look at their calendars, figure out when they're going to be where. And so, so far I got these two. Minecraft could go to either of the boys. I'll probably give this one to Eric. This one is for Lorelai and I still have to find one for Braxton they didn't have any there that like screamed Braxton but um yeah because like they have Marvel I think and we're not Marvel people and but so it looks like this worst case I'll go grab another Minecraft one but I'm gonna see what else is out there before I do that and then the Hello Kitty one it's Hello Kitty and Friends and it's kind of got like a sketched look to it I think it's really cute and I see some of her favorites on there multiple times. So that'll be good. We only have cinnamon roll once, but her other favorite is Pom Pom. And he's in February and August. Cinnamon roll is September. And then the other ones are still cute. So I got those for them for Christmas. All right. And then one of the things that I had forgotten and I knew I wanted to share with you is from... Um, Costco. They were on sale. This was only $10 for this tumbler. 
And so it's the Simple Modern tumbler, but it was only $10. So I got this for Layla for my best friend's daughter too. She just got her for Stanley uh, for her birthday, but she got it early. And it was the Olivia Rodrigo one that Laurel I got too because they got on the list. They got multiple. And so I bought one from them to give to Lorelai for her birthday because they both love Olivia Rodrigo. But I thought, so when she wants to, you know, trade out because I think it's good to have two because you can wash it you know um I got her this green one because green is her favorite color um they also had this one there I already have this one and I spent more than ten dollars on it I think I spent 30 but um I'm assuming they're clearing them out for like a new wave is my thoughts but I was really excited to find this for ten dollars so if I had more people I would have bought more but I got one for my best friend's daughter for Layla for Christmas all right we are moving on to Target Target's where I have the most stuff all right all right so I have a bag and I have stuff like all around me first of all because I have to get it packed away um we went and they had a few Halloween things out I didn't actually see this before Halloween but I got this because on my desk if you watched my home tour over on Celebrating with Amber, I have like a whole like pastel Halloween going on and I did want a pumpkin. So I think that this will be really cute over there. And so next year I'll put this out with my Halloween pastel. It wasn't on sale. I actually think I bought it. No, I'm pretty sure it was after um, Halloween, but it was $5. I'm not sad about the $5 price tag for it though. I think it's really cute and it's got that little light so it turns on and it gives you a faint glow. Alright, I have um the other day, the 4th maybe? The other day they did a sale and it was their Christmas pajamas were on sale. And so I always do yearly jammies for the kids and I. We do like matching pajamas. And I always hate spending too much on pajama pants because not everyone wears them. Lorelai will wear hers. I wear mine. And the boys are finicky about it. So they had a sale where it was 40% off. So I got all these pajama pants for $6 each. So I'm only going to pull these two out because it's what's in my hand. But they were $6 each. They're regularly $9.99, I believe. $10. And so I got all different sizes. I got a medium in men's for Braxton. I got a large in kids. I got two large in kids for Lorelai and for Eric. Um, I got myself a women's size and Braxton an or, in, or an, and Cameron a size. And then I have Lorelai and I have socks coming from um, uh, Timu and our, all the shirts that are going to go with it are going to come from Timu so I'm not going to tell you what it is yet but I got the pants they'll match the shirts that are coming from Timu and so once that haul happens once they get here but then I got the boys all these socks but um I didn't realize how big they are so I might I'm probably going to look for a different pair for Eric because there is no way this is like almost going to go like past his knee and they were three dollars each and I think I pay three dollars each and I got them because I was like, you know what, if I find something else, then I'll keep a pair. And I'll keep a pair. Like, this, the one that I got for Eric will be mine. I don't know if... My thought was Cameron's because Cameron doesn't love socks like this. So, but for $3, I'll just keep them. And I'll look for a different pair for Eric because there ain't no way. There ain't no way that's fit in his foot. But they didn't have any kids ones. So, I got those for our pajamas. Um... In the store, I was really excited. I was really excited when I found the Target mini verses because I love mini verse and I love Target. And now they have them that they go together. I just want like the Target branded thing, but they like, let's open one together because I'm curious what we have in here. I don't remember all the options of what they are. I just want these cookies that are Bullseye's Playground or Bullseye cookies. I think that those would be amazing to have. Okay, stick around to the end. I'm going to open it at the end. Let's go through the haul, and then I'll show you what's in there. Um, as you know, I love my gingies. It's like my favorite. My kitchen gets decorated all gingerbread. But look how cute these little guys are. So they have weighted feet. They're heavy. They're bean beanie. I don't know. They're heavy feet. But we have the little boy holding the peppermint, the little girl holding the candy cane. And they're just a cute little gingy couple. These ones were the ones that were $3 each. So I got them to go together in my kitchen. 
I got this. I think I'm going to put it in Lorelai's um, Countdown to Christmas box. There goes a big gust of wind outside. Because she loves dogs, like little stuffed dogs. Like Raising Cane dogs are one of her favorites. And this was $3. So I think that this will go in her Christmas box. I think she'll really like it. It's a cute little elf dog. We have some weather coming in. And it is blowing around out there and it sounds sound yucky. Um, I got these for my, um, for the kids, for the, the, what are those called? My December boxes. And I don't know about some of them. So I did pick up for the girls because they're girl gingies. I think they had boy ones too, but, um, for the girls, I got them each the cute little girl gingy. These are only a dollar each and they were just fresh stocked. So I bought a whole bunch of them. But aren't they so cute these little girl gingies and the girls have like more of a gingerbread themed kind of thing i'm going for and then for the boys i got these so these are kind of more decorations than plush it says plush snowman but this isn't like they're not plushes that you like keep to play with like but these would be really cute so i'm giving them like the cute little dollar tree christmas tree and you like put up the Christmas tree and you could set this next to it and it'd be really cute. So they have the snowmans and the penguin. The penguin's more of a plush. The snowmen are like a foam ball covered in felt. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to gift these, to be completely honest. I don't know if they are quite what I'm thinking, but they're cute. And then I got these. I think I'm going to add these to Layla's gift because, again, she's doing her room um, kind of girly. And I think this would just be cute to have in her girly room. And they're just little iridescent bows. And I got two of them. These are a dollar each. They also had in this collection of like these iridescent -y things, reindeer, bows. I can't remember. There was more. I can't remember what they were. And I sat there and looked at them forever. They did have nutcrackers. I got one for us because it's really cute. And it was only a dollar. But I don't remember. There was other ones too. But I don't remember what they were. So I can't tell you because I can't remember. All right. And then also that was from one trip. And then we went back to Target because I wanted to go back through because they hadn't put hardly anything of their um, Christmas stuff in Bullseye's Playground yet. And I, I still have more that I'm looking for in there. So one of the things, and we found it our second trip to a different store, is this. It is North Cole's finest candy canes peppermint perfection I decorate my downstairs bathroom which is right off of my kitchen and candy canes and so what I think I'm going to do one Cameron we have so we meant to do two well we intended to do two different trunk or treats and um the first one we had bad weather so it wasn't quite as busy as it usually is and then the second one we didn't do it was a whole thing but because we didn't have kids that went to the school having being like basically aunt and uncle for a kid that goes there wasn't good enough but then they came back and said well you can do it but we we didn't so anyway long story we have a lot of extra little candy canes so I could do a, like a cup in there and fill up around it and put candy canes in here and I'm going to put it in the bathroom is my plan for that also for the bathroom uh, my husband actually saw this and said this is really cute you should get this for the bathroom it's a little peppermint rug. I have a red rug already that I put down. Um, and so I'm going to do like one in front of the toilet and then probably this in front of the sink. It was $10. Oh, and the peppermint thing. I mean, obviously, this was five. If I didn't tell you before, it was $5 from Bold Ice Playground. But how cute is this? It's going to be perfect in there. It's going to be perfect. And then we went to their Christmas section and I was trying to be mindful about how much I was picking up because I do have a lot. Actually, before two, I get to that. In Bullseye's Playground, the last thing I forgot. I picked up four of these. They are $3. They still were on sale, I don't think. I didn't look, but I think they were still ringing up $3 even though they were more for fall. They call it a popcorn bucket, but I like to do a gift basket, like a s'mores gift basket. And I think it would be really cute to do that in here. And so you could like put like, you could crick it right on that marshmallow and on the graham crackers. And you can put like all your s'more stuff in there. Because all you need to put in there is chocolate, graham crackers, and marshmallows. You can add sticks. I think sticks are a good thing to add. 
So I wanna just have those to do some gift baskets. I'm gonna do one for a raffle prize for my best friend's daughter. All right, so then we went to the back to the um, Christmas items and they have a whole bunch of these. They are $5 each in the Wonder Shop. And they had a snowball with a mitten. That was my other favorite one that I thought was really cute. Um, did they have Santa and a sleigh maybe? I don't remember what they all were. Gosh, Amber. Um, I've been doing too much, doing too much. And I had a migraine for several days. So like, like, yeah. But this, of course, I had to get the milk and the cookie and the gingerbread cookie. How cute is this? I know. You, you don't have to tell me. But it was $5 for the little friends who hold hands. He's so cute. This is, It's just cute. And you can put it on a tear tray. It'll go somewhere in my kitchen. Um, I needed another mug. It says official cookie tester. This is different than all of my mugs that I have. Um, they have, oh my gosh, I had some cute mugs. They had some that were really cute. And then they had like a little thing on the inside. Like there were several I really liked. But again, I just bought one. I Restraint. And I believe it was $5. I don't think it tells me on the bottom. I believe it was $5 though for this mug. Oh my gosh, isn't it cute? And lastly is this tablecloth, which matches, which matches. They're like the same. Um, so I've been having the same gingerbread um, tablecloth for a little while. And so this will be a fun change. So this one was $5 um, and it's 60 by 84, which I think is what I typically get. And it's just, you know, a slight change to my gingerbread um, themed kitchen. It's just, it's just really cute. I had to. So that is everything. That is everything. So let's open this now. Um, I always struggle getting it off of there. So that's why I figured if you want to hang out with me just a little longer while you're waiting for me to open this, tell me, do you do mini verse? I'm like, well, I was really hooked. I haven't given myself the time to sit and play with them for a while. They did the recall. So if you follow mini verse and so they wanted you to send like their resin back and they like are paying you for it. But I just figure as long as I use it carefully, I'm fine. So I'm not doing that. Um, doo -doo -doo. there it is so I'm keeping all mine I have a bunch I have a bunch that aren't done I always keep myself so busy doing things that I never have the time I mean I could make the time let's be honest if you were in my last Dollar Tree haul hopefully tomorrow on Friday I'm doing a self care me day so it looks like this I got a Target something branded one because, oh my gosh, it's got a little Target bag. Okay, that's freaking adorable. I hope it's the cookies. It's some sort of cookies. It's something in a tray. I don't even know what all my options are on this one because I didn't really look. I just grabbed. Okay, it's not the cookies. It's not the bowls. It's cookies. It's, look, so it's Favorite Day Bakery, so it's branded little cookies. All right, now that we know what that is, let's find, because I don't want to open everything. I just kind of try to find what I know, what if I, I can figure out what it is. There are, there's little bullseye stickers in there. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then here's the little book. So this is what you need to have. So that you can make it let's see so i think i'm making a, a, a filled cookie or are they cupcakes they might be cupcakes actually mini cupcake okay i'll take that i love mini cupcakes oh my gosh so the one i really want is this one with the little bullseye cookies but this one is the one i got with the little cupcakes but if you are wondering so it comes and it's all like target brand and branded stuff the popcorn too is cute you make like a little popcorn mix um hold on I'm gonna open the other one I'm gonna pause it and then I'll be back to show you what it is I wish I could tell you that one was easier but it wasn't all right so I still have a target bag I think you get that in all of them I got cheese I think I got the salad I think I got a salad. That's my guess. 
Yep, because here's little tomatoes. It doesn't want to come out of there. Oh my gosh, so they're little grape tomatoes that are in Target branded. Oh my gosh, guys, like how freaking cute. And then little shredded cheese. Oh, I wonder if I got the pizza. I got the pizza. Just kidding. I got the pizza. Because here's the little pizza crust that is the market pantry. I mean, cute. They're not the ones I wanted, but I'm not sad about it. So that one is this one right here, the little pizza. The margarita pizza, which makes sense with the tomatoes. How cute. The lobster ravioli is cute, too. I do just really want... Oh, those cookies, too. Like, the soft cookies or these cookies. I love it, though. I'm excited. All right, guys. I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for spending your time with me. Um, please come back on Saturday. I'm going to have another Dollar Tree haul. I have a lot of fun stuff to share with you then. Um, and then when you come back next week, hopefully my hair is all done. Because I'm supposed to be doing a self-care me day on Friday. Or at least part of Friday. We'll see if that works out for me. All right, I cannot wait until I see you in the next one. This was long enough. Let me know um, with like a bullseye. Let me know, talk about Target if you stay through the whole thing or do like the bullseye um, emoji because then I know that you stay to the very end because I always like to see that, especially on these videos because these ones, my collective hauls are harder to get the, the views um, on them. But all right, thank you so much for being here. I cannot wait until I see you in the next one. Bye guys.